the being that made Fenrir made us, the record keepers. We're immortal, but we weren't all made at the same time. That's why we need to take classes to learn about everything happening on Fenrir. Most of us don't recall our lives prior to becoming a record keeper. I suppose it's possible we had lives on Fenrir already, and we were just plucked from those lives to keep tabs on the world. I just don't understand how they would explain our disappearance. We still technically occupy places on Fenrir and live these other lives. But do we look different than before? I probably shouldn't question it, because I assume it's not something we're allowed to do. Then again, the more I think about it, I don't think we were ever given a concrete set of rules. We get told what to watch and report on, and then we carry out our tasks. Then, in a similar fashion to how we are made, we are plucked out of where we are again to report on it. The more senior record keepers are the ones who assign the tasks. Most of them just select points in time and events for us to keep watch on, while others assign events and then continue to work in the field. Ilia, for example, is a senior record keeper, but also continues to report on many of the happenings in Fenrir, whereas Morris just simply tells us where to go and is responsible for pulling us out for our report. Some tasks are incredibly easy and extremely boring. Some are very exciting and involve some of the bigger players here on the planet. Then there are people like me who get the short end of the stick. The reason I can openly report like this and question the existence of the record keepers is because I was assigned a task and never pulled out to report on it. If you have listened closely to other record keepers before, then you probably have an idea on where I was stationed. There is a mysterious part of Fenrir to the south known as the Deadlands. Most people can't get in without the Witch Goddess's permission, or without crossing the bog. But luckily for me, the Record Keepers can just plop me in here. Lucky. Right. Certainly not the word that I would use to describe me or my situation. Since I'm stuck here anyway, I figured I would do my reporting on my own terms. It's what I was created to do, so I might as well do it. On the border of the Deadlands is the bog, and from the outside, most of the Deadlands just looks like mist and fog. Inside, it is much, much worse. There is a perpetual darkness created by what I can only describe as a dome that covers the entirety of the Deadlands. Once you're in here, you start hearing voices. All the time. You start seeing things completely out of the ordinary, and over time you start to experience things too. Yesterday, I had the sudden urge to run, for no apparent reason, and as I ran, I suddenly felt this overwhelming fear. I came to an abrupt stop when I encountered one of the Deadlands' many monsters. I reached out with a claw that felt as if it pierced my chest. The pain felt so real, and it caused me to lose consciousness. As a record keeper, I'm immortal, so even if it did kill me, I woke up the next day. That day, I ran again. No rhyme or reason why, but this time I got caught in a trap. It was a trap that enveloped me in a wooden cage. You would think it would be easy to escape, but I couldn't no matter how hard I tried. I waited in there for what felt like hours before another group of monsters surrounded me. Unlike me, they had no problem getting into the cage, and they began ripping me limb by limb. I should have died shortly after they started eating me, but I continued to live through it, getting the full experience. The day after that... Huh? The day... The day after that, I can't seem to remember clearly. I woke up in a large hut with bamboo-like walls and plants everywhere. Smoke rose from a nearby pot and filled the room. The rest I don't remember. As a record keeper, I'm blessed with a memory beyond the limits of a normal human, but I can't remember the rest. Why? Why can't I remember? <laughs>